everybody and welcome back to the adventures of tardy penis and the gang uh last time oh shit we finally told the guild what's what and we're on our way to become nightingales isn't that cute isn't that fun let's go right in yep that's how you go right in <laughs> Okay, let's see what so kind of trouble we can get into. I heard about this place when I joined the guild, but I never believed it existed. The assumption that the Nightingales were just a myth was seeded within the guild on purpose. It helped avert attention from our true nature. What's wrong, Grinyov? I can almost hear your brow furrowing. I'm trying to understand why I'm here last. I'm no priest, and I'm certainly not religious. Why pick me? This isn't about religion, Grinyov. It's business. Wow. Wow. This place sucks. Yeah. Ow. Oh, okay. Ah. What are you saying? If you both proceed to the armor to don your nightingale armor, we can begin the oath. Oath? Okay. This is enough to make your head spin, eh? Activate the armor stone? Okay, cool. I got all Nightingale shit. Let's check a look and see what that does exactly. Armor, Nightingale armor. Increases your magicka and stamina by 20 points for each nightingale item you wear. During the night, gain a random blessing periodically when wearing a match set. Nightingale boots, you are 5% harder to detect for each of the nightingale armor piece you wear. Uh, wearer is muffled and moves silently for the gloves. Frost and shock spells are 5% stronger, and one-handed attacks do 10% more damage for each item. And in the, uh, the hood, illusion spells are 5% less cost. Oh, less to cast. Cost less per to cast, and bows do 10% more damage. I think the armor is the only thing that I'm looking at that's like, mmm, good stuff. Yeah, because mine's only 93 and it only gives me plus four experience. I think the Nightingale armor is definitely a good upgrade. It looks pretty snazzy if I do say so myself. Fits well with the, uh, the cloak and everything. Do we have to put it all on? No? Maybe just get out of the way so he can do it? Okay. Yeah, it looks like it. How cool do I look in this armor? Oh, pretty nifty. I look pretty chill. Yo, you guys look cool, huh? Snazzy. Alright, where are we going? Beyond this gate is the first step in becoming a nightingale. Whoa there, lass. I appreciate the armor, but becoming a nightingale? That was never discussed. To hold any hope of defeating Mercer, we must have Nocturnal at our backs. If she's to accept you as one of her own, an arrangement must be struck. Uh, oh. What sort of arrangement? I need to know the terms. The terms are quite simple, Grinyol. Nocturnal will allow you to become a nightingale and use your abilities for whatever you wish. And in return, both in life and in death, you must serve as a guardian of the Twilight Sepulchre. Aye, there's always a catch. But at this point, I suppose there isn't much to lose. Except your afterlife. Mercer Frey, you can count me in. What about you? Are you ready to transact the oath with Nocturnal? Uh, sure. Good. After I open the gate, please stand on the circle. I'll open the gate for you, because you probably won't be able to get past this my boys. To make your head spin, eh? Can't do that right now. Well, I guess she really does have to do it. 
Everybody, come on back. I'm just gonna start calling you D. Because in D's. You know the thing. <laughs> Go on. Swear your fealty to Nocturnal Worm. Your life was destined for service. What an asshole. Jesus Christ. Ah, that's my circle. Along with all my friends. Cat vegetable, are you going to become a uh, nightingale? Nightingale cat I vegetable. Upon you, Lady Nocturnal, Queen of Merc, and Empress of Shadow. Hear my voice. Ah, oh, Carlyle. I was wondering when I'd hear from you again. Lose something, did we? My lady. Oh, Jonathan wants to be a nightingale too. Oh, so does D. To accept responsibility for my failure. I guess Serana, you can come in too. Your terms were struck long ago. What could you possibly offer me now? I have two others that wish to transact the oath. To serve you both in life and in death. You surprise me, Caroline. This offer is definitely weighted in my favor. My appetite for Mercer's demise exceeds my craving for wealth, Your Grace. Revenge. How interesting. Very well. The conditions are acceptable. You may proceed. Lady Nocturnal, we accept your terms. We dedicate ourselves to you as both your Avengers and your Sentinels. We will honor our agreement in this life and the next until your conditions have been met. Very well. I name your initiates Nightingale, and I restore your status to the same, Carlisle. And in the future, I'd suggest you refrain from disappointing me again. Well. Now we're two gods, boy toys. Or three? God, how many gods have we fucking now that you've talked to? The oath, it's time to reveal the final piece of the puzzle to you. Mercer's true crime. He's done more? Mercer was able to unlock the guild's vault without two keys because of what he stole from the Twilight Sepulchre. The skeleton key. By doing this, he's compromised our ties to Nocturnal, and in essence caused our luck to run dry. So the key unlocks any door? Well, yes. But the key isn't only restricted to physical barriers. All of us possess untapped abilities. The potential to wield great power securely sealed within our minds. Once you realize the key can access these traits, the potential becomes limitless. Uh... The three of us could keep it. I'm afraid that's impossible. If the key isn't returned to its lock in the Twilight Sepulchre, things will never be the same for the guild. As time passed, our luck would diminish to the point of non-existence. And whether you know it or not, our uncanny luck defines our trade. Uh, first time I've ever set out to return something. Very true. In our line of work, it's quite rare we set out to return a stolen item to its rightful owner. Let's go. Before we depart, Brynjolf has some business to discuss. I suggest you listen to him. Listen, lad. There's one last piece of business we need to settle before we go after Mercer. The leadership of the guild. Listen, lad. There's one last piece of business we need okay, to settle you said that, before yeah. we go after Mercer. The leadership of the guild. Why tell this to me? Carlia and I had a long discussion before you arrived here. Thanks to your efforts, Mercer's treachery has been exposed. After we deal with him, all that remains is restoring the guild to its full strength. As a result, we both feel that you have the potential of replacing Mercer as leader of the Thieves' Guild. I just got here, dude. What about you? I've been at this game a long time, my friend. A long time. I've stolen trinkets from nobles and framed priests for murder. I'm good at what I do, maybe even one of the best, but it's all I know. I've never been one to lead, never desired it, never cared for it, don't want it. 
it's about time you asked. No, it's not right. I don't know what to say. Well, we have a bit of an errand to run before your coronation, so don't get sentimental on me now. I accept. Then it's decided. When this is all over and Delvin's contacts assure me that we've regained our footing in Skyrim, we'll handle the details. Until then, we have quite the task ahead. Then let's go get I've to it. I've been over the plans you brought us. And I'm convinced the eyes of the Falma are in the Dwarven ruins at Urkenthat. Carlia and I will meet you there. Prepare yourself, lad. This will be a fight to remember. Cool. Guess we're Nightingales now. Aye. And some of what Carlia said is starting to make sense. Mercer may have damaged our reputation and raided our coffers, but this goes well beyond even his twisted form of larceny. Old Delvin kept calling it a curse, and we all laughed at him. Looks like the joke's on us. <laughs> Do you think we stand a chance against Mercer? If you would have asked me that yesterday, I'd have said no. But now I think our chances have improved. Look, call me crazy. With snazzy but I, armor? But I trust Kalaya. I don't think she'd lead us down a suicidal path. Besides, I'd rather die with some of Mercer's blood on my blade than spend the rest of my life regretting that I ran the other way. Okay. Until next we meet, lad. Yep, and I'll meet you over by the thingy, wherever that may be. Oh, well, she's already making her way. I'm so quick, so fast. And we out. Okay, let's see where this, uh thing is here that's oh, right next to the dragon uh, I'll probably go to this one what does that say uh, travel to Ixthrad the Dwemer ruins south of Lake Yorgrim in the Pale okay I'll just go here <laughs> thank you very much now question is do I have to Oh shit, this fucking place again. <laughs> Don't want to be caught by those guys. Um, so question is, do I have to keep the armor on? Uh oh, sounds like they uh, found me. What the hell? Oh, this has... Woman of the Hammer. Fuck. Okay, and my game crashed. Awesome. <laughs> oh, fuck! Okay. I've reloaded. I killed everyone. It's just the darkness empowers me. Which is probably one of the Nightingale things, I'm guessing. But let's head over here. Finally. Jesus Christ, after so long. Whoa, that's a lot bigger drop than I thought it was going to be. Oh, this is like a whole fucking place, eh? What was that? Oh, and it's got people here. Okay, new plan. We are going to go to the Night Gate in here, and we're going to travel down that way. I would fast travel here, but I'm scared of the dragon and also the uh, giant there. I don't. I haven't fought a giant yet, so I don't know if I can beat him. But we're going here anyway. Okay. Cool. So now we're just going to head straight there. I'm actually going to wait until it's daytime. And then I'm going to make my way over there. And actually, now that I remember it. I am going to put my moon shoes back on because that uh, super helped. Oh, I still have all this Thieve Guild shit. Yeah, I think I'm going to rock the Nightingale armor, but uh, not any of the other pieces. So my mag magic regeneration should be a lot wild, ain't it? Yeah, look at that. That's pretty fucking good. What is my magic right now? With all this bumped up. 290. 
Nice. Okay, I'll see you when we get there. All right, let's try out this new... I got this new... Uh, no, not Crackle. I want... Thunder Crack is what I want. Let's try this out. Let's see how much damage this does. Hello, sir. He's dead. Okay. That was sick. <laughs> what was that? Just thunder? Just him getting hit by thunder? It crashed my game. Fuck! <laughs> okay, we're back. I'm going to save the game right here. And also, I figured out, I or I remembered that... So... Our main spell that we use, this Elemental Bolt, does 39 damage, but it gets... It benefits from perks of Fire, Shock, and Ice. We recently got to level 60 in Destruction, which means we can take another one of these for each of these. Uh, Shock. Yes. So now, let's see what this does. 53 damage. Okay. And I also have the f thunder crack, which is 76. Holy hell. Okay, let me uh, put that on six, maybe. Why am I so slow? Oh, okay. My bad. Okay, now that we've saved the game here, let's again try this Thundercrack spell. Now ain't this a surprise. It's not doing as much damage as I was hoping. Whoa, shit. Oh, I'm in trouble. Yeah, that does a ton more damage. Excuse me, everyone. There's some stuff I need here. And you I was just a pretty face. Uh, let's use that to unlock the chest. Got another card. Some money. Okay. Just die already. You won't get the message. Can't wait to count out your coin. Hey, ow. Archer's hurt. Okay. Okay. Is that everyone? Nope. Yep. Ow. Okay, that hurt. You're gonna die for that. Victory is yours. Okay, anyone else? the hell's that down there? Oh, that's the... Well, looks like he died. From that. Good job, everyone. Pull the lever. Okay, cool. That's just an easier way inside. Anyway, where is the entrance to this thing? Is it up here? Can't be, right? It's got to be down there. I'd assume. Oh, look at this big chest. With a hundred bucks in it. Easy lockpick. I thought that was the amulet of Wanathan again. 
I was about to laugh so hard. Is it still up? Yeah, it's still up. That's crazy. Okay, here we are finally. I don't know how he got past all those guards without killing anyone. Well, never mind. He's the leader of the Thieves Guild. What the hell am I saying? Of course he could get past all those fucking guys easily. <laughs> I am also the leader of the Thieves Guild, and I suck at sneak. What is my sneak, actually? Uh, do, 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 do. Where is sneak? Oh, 51. That's not even... I'm only halfway there, dude. Oh, it looks like he didn't get through the guards inside, though. A single septum. Wonderful. That man was struggling. Okay. We gotta be on the lookout for a bunch of traps, dude. Like that one! Ah! Holy shit, I can actually kill those guys easily now. Cool. Looks like he fought some spiders. Some more guys. Looks like I have to fight spiders and more guys. There it is. Cool. I'll wait for my magic to refill and then I'll head forward. Hello, sirs. The hell is hitting me? Oops, missed one. Oops, sorry. I gotta hit one and it fucking does that every time. Spirit bound, 888 health. I don't know what that means. Is that how much I fucking dying for? This fucking purple fire? It hurts. I'm out of magic. It's doing magic damage to me. Good thing I have this one spell that doesn't cost magic. And it can outlast that stupid thing. Okay. Cool. Now we finally got all our magic and shit back. The hell is that fucking noise? Whoa. Okay, rude. Okay. Oh. oh, fuck. I almost got through it, dude. Come on. Now I gotta read the, that whole fucking part. God damn it. Okay, we're gonna try this again, shall we? Try to keep out of the flames. Good sir. We can actually just go over here then. Oh, hello spiders. You actually not hurt me up here. Okay, that's what I thought. Okay, well, how the hell do I get... So I can jump over here, do some shit, but... I don't know if that'll reach me. I have to go all the way around. Now, will it reach me if I'm trying to open this gate? Does not. Awesome. Amazing. We got past the part. Jesus Christ. 
Okay, I'm saving the game again. And then we are going to continue on. There's a little chesty chest here. Oops, how the fuck did I lose that? Dude, come on, you're an apprentice. Okay, flawless water breathing. I don't need any of that. Cool. What about this one? Also an apprentice. Also fucked me over. Okay. Card is good. Okay, got some potions here. Oh, that's what's making that fucking noise. Fucking dickhead. Alright, into the Grand Cathedral, I think it said. I don't know, I didn't read. Okay. We're here, finally. Sorry, guys, it took too long. I hope we aren't too late. I do too, those bandits back there. and I found them like that. Mercer's doing. We have to catch up to him before it's too late. I'm ready, let's go. Tread carefully. I wouldn't be surprised if he's left behind a few surprises for us. Okay, locate Mercer Frey. Any traps? Doesn't look like it. What's that? What's what? It's Mercer. Look, down there. I'm oh yeah, the there he is. Or wait. Oh, those are Falmer. Where the hell am I supposed to be looking? Damn it. There's no way through. Okay, I don't see him. We're just gonna keep going, friends. <laughs> Alright. In we go. This looks like a poison gas area. Oh shit. He's level 50, god damn. Too bad I already got everything off this guy. Is this important? Expert gate. Got it. Well, fuck those guys in particular. Okay. Cool. <laughs> what does this lever do? Ah, that activates one side. Looks like I have to... Do I already have a Dorvan whip? I do. Looks like I have to find the thing to the other side. I kill him so good. Oh, there's the other side on the way we came in. Oh, hello. And then who the fuck shot that at me? You sneaky son of a bitch. Okay, you'll die eventually. I think it's about time to upgrade this bow. We've been using it for quite a while. Oh, I thought I hit activate. Whoops. Cool. Oh, you're kidding me. I have to hit him within a time limit? Ow. Ow, 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 ow. Okay, fair enough. Okay. Okay. Nope.
Oh. Did I get it? That didn't bring the gate down. Oh, there it is. Okay. Cool. All right. Ow. Air trap. Ow. Ow, poison arrows. Oh shit, I don't have the fucking magica. There we go. Uh where's my arrow bone arrow? Okay, he'll die eventually now. There's still one more. Right there. Sure enough. Ow. Ow. Fuck. Okay, we're back. Now that I've saved the game, finally. Aw, oh, come on, man. There we go. That's good. Ah, uh, there you are. I can't see your ass. I oh shit, it. there's another one. Oh. Ow, owie, 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 owie. Ah. Ow, what the fuck? I'll let them handle it for a bit. Oh, yep, there's that guy up there. Fuck, I can't even see him. There he is. Now he's lit up like a Christmas tree. You son of a bitch. You know, for nightingales, you guys aren't using your arrows very well. Oh, he's resistant to poison arrows. I guess I switched over to poison arrows. What have you been doing? Okay. Jesus. That's not good. Okay. Anyone else? I don't see any more red dots on the compass. So this is what we heard. The entire tower collapsed. The only reason he'd do that would be to block the seals. It must be Mercer. We'll have to find another way around. Mercer was able to knock this thing down. God. It's the key, Brian. In his hands, there's no telling what he's capable of. It's the key. <laughs> Dude unlocked a hundred percent of his brain. Looks like we can take the low road or the high road across. I'm taking a low road. Because I didn't see anything with the high road. Oh. Falmer supple, supple bow. Aw, oh, shit. I'm actually going to drop the Thieves Guild stuff. Because I don't need it for the museum. Okay. Oh, wait. Oh, this is where I came through. Oh, fuck me. I'm going the wrong goddamn way. How did I get so turned around? Was it when I was spinning to look at the freaking uh, compass to see if there are any enemies nearby? Probably. Yep, yeah, looks like. Now we can take the high road or the low road. And this time I'm going to take the high road. Or maybe not. Yeah. No. This is a good way to go. We got this. Door. 
Bear trap. Yow. Another bear trap. Yow. Another bear trap. Yow. No more bear traps. Who the fuck is this guy? Oh, that's Palmer. Ooh, books. Books, books, books. Oh, I'm carrying too much still. Okay, let me figure out what the hell's weighing me down. Okay, that's good. Okay, weird. Anyway, let's keep going. Ow. Bear traps. So many goddamn bear traps. Must have took him forever to set up all these fucking bear traps. Oh, Jesus Christ. There's so many of them. Yeah, why don't you guys use your bows? Huh? Uh, ow. Oh, what the fuck hit me? A fucking arrow to the neck? Are you kidding me? How far back does that set me? God damn it. Uh, quite a bit, actually. Okay, and we're back. Finally. Jesus, took me long enough. All right. I'm going to do some sneaky archery. Get fucked, all of you. Jesus Christ. Oh, get out of the way, you fucking idiot. Oh, my God, dude. Oh, are you fucking kidding me? I got one of those to fight now? my power okay I think that power just saved my ass there's still some more I'm gonna save it though just because this is the farthest I've gotten <laughs> let's try to uh you're fighting over there right my bad um okay and how do we get up there we go around. Looks like we have to go up here. Whoa! That was so close, dude. What the fuck? Those trip wires are fucking hilarious, bro. Oh, jeez. Oh, so close. Okay. Finally, the slave pins. Into the slave pins. Who are the slaves? The spiders? They're okay. Ow. Can I do this? Not in combat. Ah, there's still some down here, it seems. Oh. 
Okay. All right, now can I use this? I can. Tink, 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 tink. <laughs> All right, anything up here? No. It's just a locked gate. Let's keep going down deeper in. There's a bunch of pressure plates right there. I want to get out the way for anything that these dumbasses trigger. Oh, hello. Ooh, 63. The hell did he have? Oh, claws. Oh, shit. Whoa! Got him. Just as I was getting warmed up. Yeah? Oh, looks like there's something in here. There's a way oh. forward. Actually, gonna save it right here, even though it's mid combat. Alright, let's go. Okay. Anyone else? Hello, sir. You son of a bitch. Come on, move. Jesus Christ. What the hell happened to my Nashka? Okay. Anyone else? Do I keep going through the cave? Keep following the pipes? Boom! Look at that nuke go off in slow motion, bro. That was so sick. Alright. We're here for you, baby. Let me fucking save again. He's here, and he hasn't seen us yet. Oh, uh, there's the, the eyes. I lost. Nothing's get by me. Climb down that ledge. See if you can. Carlia, when will you learn you can't get the drop on? shift in the wind and at that moment i knew it would end with one of us at the end of a blade it's 3v1 dude give me the key what's carlia been filling your head with tales of thieves with honor oaths right with falsehoods and broken promises nocturnal doesn't care about you the key or anything having to do with the guild uh it's not about Nocturne. This is personal. Revenge, is it? Have you learned nothing from your time with us? When will you open your eyes and realize how little my actions differ from yours? Both of us lie, cheat, and steal to further our own end. Yeah, but I have a museum. Difference is I still have honor. It's clear. You'll never see the skeleton key as I do, as an instrument of limitless wealth. Instead, you've chosen to fall over your own foolish code. If anyone falls, it will be then you. Then the die is cast, and once again, my blade will taste nightingale blood. Carlisle, I'll deal with you after I rid myself of your irksome companion. In the meantime, perhaps you can rid you all to get better equipped. What's wrong, dude? Oh, you were going to hurt me. Where are you going? Oh, you think you can just do a phase? 
Oh shit! You scared the fuck out of me. Okay. You know what? Fair enough. He's going to be on fire forever, so I can tell exactly where he's going to be. Oh Fuck you, Mercer. Skeleton key, left eye out. Right eye of the former. Glass arrows, Nordic arrows. That was mine, probably. Flawless amethyst. Okay, return the eye of the Falmer to Delvin. Okay, how the fuck do we get out of here, though? Is it just that? It's not, uh, let me... Oh, can I do this underwater? Apparently I can. Apparently I cannot. Okay. Cool. The hell do I do? Okay, sorry about that, everyone. Uh, so I, I I fucked up on the recording part, but uh, there's a piece of the cave wall that comes crumbling down, uh, and it just has a hole that comes out to here. So didn't miss anything. Twenty five years in exile, and just like that, it's done. All that remains is to ensure the safe return of the skeleton key. Sounds like it'll be a simple task. I'm it's not that simple. Well, fuck. When the skeleton key was stolen from the Twilight Sepulchre, our access to the Inner Sanctum was removed. The only way to bring it back will be through the Pilgrim's Path. I take it you've never used the Pilgrim's Path? It wasn't created for the Nightingales. It was created to test those who wish to serve Nocturnal in other ways. As a consequence, I have no knowledge of what you'll be facing. Then we best get started. The is needed back at the Thieves Guild to keep order while you're away. And I... I can't bear to face Nocturnal after my failure to protect the key. I'm afraid you'll have to face the end of your journey alone. Don't worry, I got, like, five people with me. <laughs> I'll return the key. Take this with you. I'm not certain if it will help within the walls of the Sepulchre, but I certainly don't need it as much as you. I've had this bow almost my entire life. And it's never let me down. I hope it brings you the same luck. Okay, cool. Nightingale bow. And now I can't move. Thanks a lot. Tell me about the nightingales. Is this just going to be everything we already know just summed up? The Trinity disbanded 25 years ago when Mercer Frey betrayed us. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dumping his body in the ruins of Snowvale Sanctum. Okay. Were they part of the Thieves' Guild? Indirectly. The Trinity is usually selected from the ranks of the Guild, although its existence is a closely guarded secret. What is their purpose? The Nightingales protect the Temple of Nocturnal, a place known as the Twilight Sepulchre. I don't understand why you come with me, who is Nocturnal. Tell me about the conduit inside the Sepulchre. The conduit to Nocturnal's realm, the realm of Everglow has been in Skyrim, well, longer than recorded history. The Twilight Sepulchre was constructed around it by man and myrrh in order to shield it from those who would exploit its power. It's through this conduit that we're given Nocturnal's greatest gift, our luck. What she gains in return is a complete mystery. Huh. Okay. Cool. I will get on that next episode. Oh, I gotta fucking remove shit, didn't I? Yeah, I still have this Thieves Guild shit, but I don't need it. So let me go Thieves Guild armor. Thieves Guild hood. I don't need it for the museum, so that should be good. 
yeah. I am going to go back to the museum and put stuff up. Jesus Christ, what the fuck is that noise? Okay, anyway. Uh, let's head back to the museum. Home sweet home. Here we are once again. Everyone's here. Except for D. I don't know where D went. Um... Did that just crash my game? Are you kidding me? Okay, Jesus Christ. Uh, I'm ending the episode. I'm going to be doing the... I'm going to put stuff away in between. But next time we'll be returning the key to the lock that it belongs to. <laughs> I'll see in the net. Oh my God. Did you see that? Did you see that fucking dragon just run off? Yeah, I see you, you big bitch. Fly away, big bitch. Oh no. Leave me alone, dude. <sighs> I'll see you in the next one.